And we're back, folks. Kind of a uh, jump scare. I went to load the game up and it just started playing. So we're back. Welcome to the video. We're playing some more Trials of the Sky. Um, we're starting. We, we, we just finished the prologue. We're popping right into, I'm assuming, Chapter 1. Um, I, I do want to say, let me go if you guys like this. We'll probably be my, my last video of the series until I see it, you know how people are are liking it. If there's any like trash or anything like that, so like, if you guys like it, please let me know. Um, and if you do, I will keep playing. But yeah, let's uh, let's uh, dive on it. Or you know what? First, let me uh, finish like you know saying what's on my mind. So I am liking this game. But I don't know if it's a good video, like a good recording game, because like I don't, know, I don't know if like the action is entertaining enough to hold its own, and I don't, and like because there's so much talking, and I can't really do voices very well, I don't know if I'm able to deliver this game well enough for people to enjoy it. So I'm kind of conflicted on if I should continue this or not. So if this is interesting for you, honestly do let me know. Because I'm not sure if I'm able to deliver this how people would like it and all that. So yeah, just just let me know. But yeah, let's uh let's dive into it. So well, it looks like it's time for me to warm my flight. Still, don't do anything I wouldn't do myself, and try not to be a handful for Joshua either. You have to take time. I heard you already. How about you try not to go overboard yourself with your own work? You're not getting any younger, you know. Say what you will, but I'm not about to over be overtaken by, by, by my youngsters. Sure, Zar. I'm really sorry about placing all this work on your shoulders at the last minute. Please don't be. I am slightly concerned, however, about whether or not I can do a de decent job in your place. There's no need to be humble. Silver Street. And I don't mean to make your life any more difficult, but please keep an eye, off. An eye on these two. You just leave it to me. It is tightening up the reins or spoiling these two fine with you. And not spoiling these two fine with you. You definitely understand the way I think. What's this all about? <laughs> It looks to me like a mutual understanding between master and pupil. The Grantel, Grantel bound airliner, Lynn, will be departing soon. All passengers, please board the airship now. Uh oh. <clears throat> I better take my seat. Have a great, great trip, Dad. We'll take care of, of everything here while you're gone. When you're done with your work, make sure you come straight home. No keeping off. Is there any way to see your beloved Papa off? Is that any way to see your beloved Papa off? Oh well, I'll try my best to come home as soon as I can. Alright, you two. Be good while I'm gone. gone again. Yeah. Come on, you two. There's no need to look so down. <clears throat> Your father will be back in no time. I don't know what kind of investigation he's been asked to do this time. But when it comes to your father, you'll have it done before you know it. I'm kind of sad that he's gone. He's always been more... been away more than he's been home. Alright, alright. If you'd say so. Anyways, I'm going to go, going to get, get to work on those jobs. But if you run into any trouble, just give me a holler. Will do. 
But first, I'd like to try a bit of a few drops of Joshua. I want to see if we're capable of, of doing the of doing as junior phrases. Alright, if you insist. I imagine that with Joshua tagging along, there's probably not much to be worried about. Good luck with you. Thanks. We'll do our best. So, what do you want to do now? Shall we go stop by the guild? Yeah, we should probably talk to Kena and find out what jobs are, are waiting for us. Let's go! Yeah, I, I forgot to mention, but that scene uh, last episode with uh, Joshua and their dad talking. That, 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 that was a nice scene. I, I like the credit bit. Ah, good morning, Estelle. Joshua, has your father already left? Yep, just barely. That's why we came here to find out about the jobs he left for us. Sure, there are a total of three jobs I have lined up for you. For the first one, I'd like you to head to the farm west of here. The farm west of here? Isn't that where Theo lives? Theo. I seem to have heard that name somewhere before. Theo Brazel. She was one of our classmates at Sunday school. She's also the Brazel farm owner's daughter. Oh, really? It's actually the Brazel farm that put in the request to have someone exterminate some monsters. Are they really having problems like that? Fortunately, nobody has been hurt, but the owner and his family are upset that over their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Therefore, the guild received an extermination request. I never would have expected something like that to happen. Okay, we'll head over right now. Here, take this with you. Go with her. The document clarified that you were dispatched by the guild. Please give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Theo's father pretty well, so I don't think this is necessary, but we'll take it just in case. Uh, I'd like someone to f find my shiny rock. Please speak to me directly in detail. This is the direction they wanted me to go. Is it? Now I'm, I'm second guessing myself. Oh, yeah, they said to the west, right? I am so bad at, at, at navigating in this game. Uh. I am confused. There was an option to bring up like your journal, right? Am I dumb?
Okay, so yeah, head to, head to the west. Some memory of this road actually being quite dangerous. That's that Let's move out. Like I'm vaguely remembering this uh, farm fight, and remember actually losing on it. I think. But I, I believe I was also playing ha on hard mode when I was originally playing through this like a, a few, 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 few years ago. Yo, I probably should have made a cookie instead of eating. Getting that. Okay, grab the strike. Let's kick out the little cat guy. Have a still fireball plant. Call it hit. And then we'll have Joshua dual slash this guy. off of one turn. All before they had a chance to uh, to act. Maybe level up. Excellent. Got some beast flesh. Take, take, take on the, these uh, beetles, I guess. Ow! Wow, they actually kind of hurt. I don't think uh, Estelle would have lived. Ow. Okay, we'll have her cast tear on herself. And she, she can get in a box. It was actually uh, pretty, pretty dangerous. I may need to do some grinding.
<sighs> no matter when we come here, this place is always so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here. I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary either. Anyways, let's go ask someone here to fill us in on, on the details. I wonder if Kyo is home, home today. Joshua, can you come to play with me? I wish I had time, but I'm afraid I'm. I'm but I'm afraid today it, I, I, I'm here for work. Work? That's no fun at all. Huh. Maybe later. The kids here are. The kid really like you, Joshua. Cher. Oh, Joshua, Estelle. Hi, Cher. How have you been? Do you know where your mom and dad are? They're not home right now. She knows outside if you want to talk to her, though. This is Keo. I'm guessing that's her. Hi, Keo. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's now Joshua, too. Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly. We're here, here on Bracer Business. I heard that you've been having some trouble with monsters. Sal and Joshua explained the situation. Finish all your trading? That's, that, that's wonderful news. Maybe you can help after all. So there really are monsters giving you trouble, huh? Great. Regrettably, that ha that's been the case for the past several days now. Thanks to which I'm suffering from a lack of sleep. Which means the monsters only come out at night? You're very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all these details from my father, though. I imagine he should be back from delivering the milk and vegetables any time now. Alright, I guess we just kind of made her a boat, I guess. Talk to a cow. Little uh, greenhouses. Chicken. Chicken. Do I go inside? Do they have loot? Ah. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Brazil. How is everyone getting along long these days? Oh, business is selling Joshua. What brings you out to the neck of the woods? Did you come here to see Tio? We were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell you the truth, we're here on an errand from the Bracer Guild. We tell them the information. Is that so? But don't you think this job's a little dangerous? Or just the two of you to handle? I agree. I'd feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt. Don't spread it. We're bracers, after all. We're taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized us to carry out the task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Alright then. Go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much. And can you tell us a little more about the monsters that have been wreaking havoc on your farm? I haven't been able to get a uh, clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night and raid our fields, gnawing upon, upon anything they can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but they're extremely nimble. I've tried many times to capture them over the course of the last several nights, but with no, to no avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures, if you ask me. Since they appear under the cover at night, we'll have to wait until it gets dark. So how about taking a load off until then? I assume you'll be joining us for our dinner tonight, right? You said the magic word, you bet I will. I'm a huge fan of your cooking. I can't wait. I sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time boiling in the kitchen. And for that, I'll whip you up something special to live up to your expectations. I have a memory of this might be in top.
How about delicious? The mom's home cooking is, is as good as ever, Keel. Uh, that's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over for meals. She's really bad for Joshua, though. The little one's jumping all over him like that. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, kids tend to latch onto him a lot. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that the children enjoy playing with such a sick kind of mud. I think that's a bit of an over exaggeration, don't you? He's definitely courteous, and maybe even a tad reserved, but you get to know him. He's, re he's a really caring young man. The fact that he's not so cautious about it, too, gives him a point to my book. You really think so? Think about it. Those striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes, and less black hair? It's really natural that he'd be a target for all, all of the, the young girls. Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind to Snow? River has it that more than just a few girls have asked to go up with him. I hear he that he turned the ball down, though. I had no idea. Joshua never said a word to me about it. I don't know how I should even begin to describe his sensitive nature after hearing this. But how utterly cruel for him not to confide in me. If you were employed, I imagine it would be a, a different story. But as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. The fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. Huh? Why would I? Del, you're in there, aren't you? It's about time to do a round. Alright, I'm coming. Wink. I'll, I'll be back after Joshua and I get, get the job done. I'd like to continue the conversation then, okay? Oh, alright. Be careful out there, Cell. Hi, girl. She's either completely out of touch with matters of the heart, or just plain tense. Poor Joshua. He really has his work cut up for him. It seems as though the monsters always show up at, at, at about this time. We better head, get outside and take a look around. Uh, what's going on, Stell? I gotta ask Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me about, do you? Come on now. Where are you coming up with this stuff? Since you came to live with us, we've always done everything together, right? Even. Though we've had our fair share of fights, they're often memories for me now. And what I mean to say is, I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. So, so if you ever, if there is anything on your mind you'd like to talk about, I'm, I'm available to lend an ear. You know, about things like trouble with your love life and whatnot. What are you trying to say? Nothing. I just want to let you know. And I'm here to listen. If you need to talk, if if you need someone to talk to, that's all. That's right outside. It gets a monster butt. My nonsense is still putting into that girl's head. Secrets, huh? Wow, it's really dark out here and in the countryside. Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start checking around the house first and then move on to the fields, stables, and greenhouses? We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. Alright, let's go. Check around the house. House seems fine. Um, so check out the fields. Awfully quiet, all I hear are bugs chirping. Doesn't look as if they've shown up yet. Wonder if they're aware of our our presence. Hey Joshua, did you ever tell did, did anyone ever tell you that story as a kid? You know, about the one about babies being born in a cabbage patch? Now there's another question, how you out of the loop? I know. I was told about an angel with silver wings who delivered them. Interesting, so that explains that, that, so the explanations for where babies come from differ depending on region, huh? How about we get back to work? Go ahead. Do, check in garden. Do. That's the wrong way. 
keep getting turned around. Okay, I'm guessing it could be in the field. I vaguely remember fighting in the garden, though. I'm lost here. All right, let's keep moving. Makes me feel like it's all worthwhile just just sitting put in here. Definitely a dip, so at least it's better than being dead by someone I know. Off in this direction, right? Did I run up here? There it is. Got him! I think it's time to teach this little critter a lesson. Here's where our job really starts to start, so stay alert. Neutral the element. Miss that that that's fine as well. Um I should probably heal. It heals, that's not good. Ow. Go strike. Hit him. These guys are pretty tanky. Okay, we'll slap this guy. Turn art. Okay. Uh, what do you have? Lock up. Soul word. Sometimes we're seeing Hulk. 20% chance of instant kill, I'm guessing. I don't like those odds. Can we hit him? We can't hit him. Alright, let's move up. They're probably hitting a spell anyway, because that creature hates a, hates a spell. 
sell art. Just uh, use a heal on yourself. Uh, we'll just attack the guy. The other one is just, it's just pretending to play dead, so it's probably not a threat at the moment. I hope. Uh oh. Good dodge, uh, uh, Joshua. That, that little guy's scampering off. Uh, let's hit him with a firebolt. And we'll have Joshua do a little stab. Or just miss. We hit him with the firebolt. Good hit. Ow. Okay, okay not, not too threatening. We'll do basic attack. Or miss. That works too. You know what, Joshua? You just you just hang out, look handsome. The cell will, will do everything for you. Here's a fireball, knock him out. Okay, Joshua can move up. And Estelle can just hit him with Firebolt, I guess. I have a feeling that it, it playing as a trap. Just wasting uh, EP. Felt bad killing that one. Let's move out. 70 XP, nice. Not a level up yet, but still looks pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. My goodness, the work of a bracer is something else. You kids have done a fine job rounding up these critters. <laughs> there was nothing really. I wanted to ask you though. Now that they've been caught, what do you plan to do with them? Now that we've given these critters a good thrashing, I don't think they'll cause you any more trouble. Now, How's that going to benefit it, anyone if we show these creatures any mercy now? We're here to do a job by determining the monsters, remember? But, in any case, we're here to do a job and fix the dad. If the same thing happens again, that will. What will you have to say for yourself? I see what you're getting at, but. You know. There was only some vegetables that were damaged, so... What do you think about letting it slide this time? You know, after taking a beating like that, I'm sure they, they, they've learned their lesson. You know? Miss Perez? But, in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I myself am against killing them too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is, we're all living beings trying to survive on the same land. To some degree, I think that we need to be mindful of those creatures living around us as we go about our, our, our daily lives. I, I know you may dis disagree with me, Joshua, but what do you mind sparing these critters just once? Understood. Because I've got the ones who suffer the actual loss. I won't. Object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. No, I had you two come all the way up here. I made sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to, to prevent this from happening again. Then that's that. Alright, you critters, you better count your blessings. If we catch you around here again, you won't be so lucky. Now scram! I'll, I'll consider this matter closed. Tonight, it's been a long night, so how about we head back to the house and get the sack? You two are more than welcome to, to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. Damn. 
and on me. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? Joshua? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I, I, I read this situation really awkward for everyone. Huh? Are you talking about what happened up back outside? That's right. It. I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone. No, it, it wasn't. I'm, I'm just cold hearted and indifferent is all. Even now, I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy as we put those creatures out of, uh, of their misery. Unlike you and Theo, I don't feel any compassion. It's at times like this that I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. <laughs> Maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua! Don't you dare say things like that about yourself. Estelle? I've watched almost everything you've done the past five years. I'm confident in saying that I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. But even more than you. I won't allow you to disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. I'm sorry. It was foolish for me to say that. As long as you understand what, understand what I said, then that's all that really matters. But you know what? Believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? Your real problem, Joshua, is you always, keep, you always try to keep yourself feeling locked up inside. Whatever your troubles or worries, you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. That's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. So I... Joshua, you were able to lay there your own weakness today. You learned to trust someone other than yourself. For that, I'm happy. I don't know what your point is, but I'm amazed that you can just stand there and say something that's embarrassing as that. Ha! I got a whole lot more where that came from. But how about we call it a night? After all this endless running around, I'm ready to drop. Alright then. Have a good night. And thanks. You're welcome. Thank you both. You did all, us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this experience as well. If there's anything else we can help you with in the future, please let the Bracer Guild know. That'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit us again. We'd love to have you over for for the night again when things are at our convenient for you. I'll treat you to some of my best cooking. Thank you. Alright, how about we head back to the guild? After we, we report this one, we can start on the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one. Alright, this feels like a good spot to wrap up though. So I'm going to save it here. So as I said uh, earlier on, this will probably be the last one of this I do for now. Because like, if it was watching this and no one's enjoying this, I might as well just move on to something else. Uh, but if, if people are liking this, let me know, and I'll keep this going, because I, I, I am having a good time. This game does seem very interesting. I'm liking the characters. Um, I'm looking forward to see like, like where it's going. But also, if people aren't, aren't feeling it, that's okay as well. It, it, it is an older game, very dialogue heavy, so kind of get it, so let me know. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.